up and up we go. I reckon there's a path up the top there. But I don't know how you get to it because I've never seen a path <sighs> anywhere when I was down there that led me up there. So, and as I was saying earlier, that if it was nine, ten years ago, I had uh, I would have run out by battery a long time ago. There was no way of recharging. So I doubt if I even took any photographs. Definitely, probably no video when I did this. At the moment, it's all very vague. It's all very vague, all of it. I tend to remember my combs that I've explored and gone up, but I, I know I came up here, I know that. I remember the junction point and, and all that. But, um, I can't remember this walk. I can't remember it. And like I said, I feel I should be up there. I reckon that is Big Nora Hill, or that. Now on some of these hills, there's some ancient evidence of the ancients. But it's probably better to try and find that in the, in the winter. Well, when there's no snow, of course. It's baking hot now, by the way. It might even be so hot, I might need to put that on. It's very exposed here. Mind you, my hair is uh, keeping my neck covered. I feel like we're getting somewhere though. I feel like once we get up around this corner, we'll be reaching a, maybe the Macmillan Way or something like that. I will have to study it in more depth on the map. I didn't bring the map. Like I said, I've done it, but got no recollection of doing it. There's nothing sticking out that says, yeah, you did that, Sheila. I just, I just don't know. Anyway, I'm plodding on. I'm getting further up. Look, I've gone a long way. This is like the parallel valley to the Wee Coom. Well, I came down earlier. So I shall study this when I get back. Back home. I might have to take, get me um, thin top out and put it over my head, I think, because it's, it's hotter than I really thought it would be. Those beautiful flowers, aren't they? Mixed with the gorse there. Big clouds coming. Like I said, I need to get up the top before they change. Ah, oh, here's my sleepies. He's looking back, he's saying, come on, Sheila, there's more of us. I didn't leave you, that was another group. I'm waiting for you, Sheila. I'm telling the others to wait. But we've got to get on, the weather's changing. Come on. All right. Right then, there's one up there, he's keeping an eye. He might follow up the back. The weather's changing, I've got to get a move on. There's a, a whacking great cloud coming. It'll be nice when it comes, if it calls me. Oh, I've got no memory of this hill. I haven't. 
up. That's coming up. It's coming straight for me. Hopefully it's just coming to call me. Over and out. Alright, there's uh, the name of that coom. I'll have to find out what its exact name is because it will have a name. Um, I think it's Bicknoller Hill. It's known as when that was a sign coming up. Bicknoller Hill. And uh, one day I will come back and do this bit. So I haven't done this bit before. Fortunately, I got scared. When I was down there, I guess this was a whacking black cloud. Thunder and lightning was ringing in my ears thinking, get a bloody move on, girl. Anyway, fortunately, I said to Bowie Bay, please blow with my sister and John Lennon and everyone. Blow it away, please. And he has. I was so frightened for a minute. I was going to get, like, thunder and lightning because everyone keeps talking about it. it's coming. When I was in the village, I said, yeah, tomorrow, thunder and lightning and storms. Look at that. That's going up north. At the moment, it's keeping away. <sighs> right, everyone. I can't, I've got no recollection of this particular walk. What I must have done nine, ten, ten years ago. I can't remember any of it. And I, I don't even know if I've got a record of it because, like I said, I would have been out of battery way by now. You know? So, uh, this is probably the only record of me doing that, as though I've done the church. God, look at that. That's a nasty looking cloud, isn't it? That's on the way. And it's forming a anvil. Like I said, there ain't no panic really. I've walked down through the coombe before now. Shepherd's coombe and Hodder's coombe at 8 o'clock at night before. When I've done very long hikes. What it is with this one, I've come up. It's zigzagged. It hasn't been too bad. I've been on that Crocom one. See, look at that anvil forming. That Crocom one is far worse. Because there you've got to come up a road and it just goes straight up. Whereas at least with this you sort of flat it's sort of flattish. But you know you're going up. I'm still going up now. Like I said, the heather seems to be fading, but look at all that black going that way. It could turn mine, the wind can change direction. Once I'm going down in the coombe, I know I'm heading back to Alberta. See, look. There was a higher track. Look. Well, I don't know how you got on that. I don't know. I've not really... I must admit, I haven't really explored this area much. So much to discover. You think you know it and you could tell you don't. I mean, as for the Great Wood area, I've got basic ideas of that, but over there we've got my Nedlet coming into view again. I've walked all over that big hill to Porlock. Yeah, done all that. I climbed all the back of that. I've done it all. All that I've done. Walked. I'd like to have thought I could do um, Exmoor, but basically with Exmoor, see if someone on the top there going up along a path, there must be a way. It could be that bloke I met on a horse again. There must be a way that somehow I've missed it. Oh, I'm glad that's moving away. That's a big anvil. That is definitely storm, that is. But look at it over here, everyone. Bloody lovely, isn't it? Oh, you still got a long way to go yet. But I'm up here. There's clear blue sky in front of me. I've just seen someone riding on a horse. Oh, it might not be him, it's somebody else. Oh, yeah. 
ya. Lovely, isn't it? I thought we used to do that. So it must have been away, look. It must have been away, Sheila. I know. I didn't see any way up at all. When I was on the Coleridge Walk, I didn't see one hint of a way up. I was looking. Right, what's that out in the sea there? What's that? Big ship. Big ship. Oh, beautiful, isn't this beautiful? Very beautiful, isn't it? Right over there we've got the um, the trick point the beacon there the staple plane and all that and I walked down a coombe there walked along and then came up a coombe back there and all I've got to remember is that is that clump of trees from now on try and explore that now that cloud looked like it was moving away from me a minute ago now it seems to be following there's a gentleman on the horse that I met earlier, and there's behind him there's um Bicknoller or in front of him is Bicknoller uh, post. So basically I'm on the way back now. I've got a feeling the wind has changed direction by the way, but Bowie is now blowing it behind me. So it does seem a bit whizzy around here, but um that's the one there, no, that's the, another one there, but it does look a bit threatening. That's what's coming, folks. A big storm. Like I said, lay in bed last night and there was an electric storm. Crack, bang! God, the sky was lighting up, the thunder was roaring, the rain was massive. And uh, I just then, I didn't even know I was going to come over here. Um, I thought it would be too dodgy to think about um, coming anywhere else, you know. And then um, I thought, no, I needed to get out. I needed to. It's beautiful, all the heather, though, isn't it? You know, all the heather. Yeah, I walked on a trek along there earlier, like along the top there to the memorial trees. So I've done quite a big hike really, and then I went down the Weecombe there, along the Coleridge Way to the village of Bicknoller. I went in the church and then I had this quite long, slow climb up through another coombe, which I need to find out what it's called. And um after that, it, it started getting really hot, actually. I mean, it's getting cold again now. There's uh, quite a breeze. But it walked, but when I go back, see, here's a, this is like the Macmillan Way and all that, these paths, these routes, are the main tracks. But you can see where all this lot is going. It's going over there towards the Mendips. I mean, at the moment, we've... I've managed to have a good day. Um, it's been very rewarding, very enjoyable. I mean, I do get a bit panicky when they talk about thunder and lightning. I get panicky about cows. I've got these, we've all got issues. Um, fortunately, I didn't really have to worry too much about any cows today. I managed to walk around any. And, um... And then, of course, when I went in the shop, they were talking about thunder and lightning. And I thought, God, I've got to walk up on the top yet. 